Hello, good evening. Welcome to our channel, You She Talks. And today we are talking about killer yoga teacher Caitlin Armstrong, who shows no emotion as she is sentenced to 90 years in prison for gunning down love rival. We have more details. Let's get started. Killer yoga teacher Caitlin Armstrong has been sentenced to 90 years in prison after a Texas jury spent less than two hours deliberating before finding her guilty of gunning down her love rival, Mariah Mo Wilson. Wearing a gray pantsuit in Texas courtroom on Friday afternoon, Armstrong stood as her punishment was read in a packed courtroom filled with Wilson's relatives and her own mother and sister watching. Crying could be heard from someone in the gallery. She was sentenced to 90 years in prison and was off ordered to pay $10,000 fine. Armstrong faces between 5 to 99 years in prison for shooting dead Wilson who had a sexual relationship with Armstrong's boyfriend Colin Strickland while the pair were broken up and later reconciled. On Thursday, it took the jury less than two hours to find Armstrong guilty. The former yoga teacher stalked Wilson and Strickland as they went for a swim and to dinner on May 11, 2022. After Strickland dropped Wilson off at a friend's apartment and left, Armstrong made her way into the room and shot Wilson in the head twice, once in heart and once in hand. A wound that the medical examination, uh, examiner said that uh, Wilson likely put her hands up, trying to shield herself from the gunfire. Prosecutors had urged the jury to give Armstrong at least 40 years as she will be eligible for parole after serving half of her sentence or 30 years, whichever comes first. Wilson's friend and mother addressed Armstrong in court after the sentencing with the victim calling Armstrong's actions selfish and cowardly. You never chose to face her woman face her woman to woman in a civil conversation, Karen Wilson said, looking directly at her daughter's killer. She would have listened. She was an amazing listener. She would have cared about your feelings. You and Colin could have had a beautiful life together. Karen added, Armstrong instead chose to ruin her own life and many others. When you shot Mariah in the heart, you shot me in my heart, the grieving mom said. As Karen Walker, uh, walked back to her seat, she maintained eye contact with Armstrong as she walked past her. A key piece of evidence in the case was surveillance video from a neighbor that captured Wilson's blood-curdling final screams as Armstrong approached her with a gun. Then three shots can be heard. Jurors also saw multiple videos showing Armstrong's black jeep outside the apartment where Wilson was killed. Additionally, Armstrong's phone and vehicle GPS both placed her at the murder scene. DNA belonging to Armstrong was also found on Wilson's bike outside the apartment. The murderers turned down an opportunity for a lighter sentence in exchange for ple pleading guilty months before her trial. The former yoga teacher rejected a plea deal from Travis County District Attorney Jose Garza. She could have been released from prison in her 50s and 60s a heck lot sooner than if she is convicted by a jury, said a source who spoke on condition of anonymity. Against the advice of attorney, she rejected the plea deal. She's insisting on trying that case, Burr, but for her to again flee, it's just insane. Armstrong tried to escape from police custody 19 days before her October 30th trial uh, began when she was out of jail on doctor's visit, but the jail guard had caught her. That's all we have in today's video. Thanks for watching her. Uh, have a good day. Bye-bye.